everybody how are you guys doing i hope you guys are having a fantastic day so far welcome to stella zone if you're a new subscriber i want to say thank you for being part of this amazing family thank you for subscribing if you've not subscribed to stella zone please hit that red subscribe button it's free and then the little bell on the notification icon on the side and so that whenever i upload a video you'll be one of the first ones to get a notification so let's dive in today's video so for today's video i'm making spinach stew okay spinach stew where um it's very popular in africa you know Ghanaians, we have our spinach stew nigerians and and i mean other Af african countries so i'm making spinach stew with a little bit of twist to it because i've so today's spinach stew, um, this is just a little bit of, this is a few ingredients, okay? You don't need much, okay? And if you're not in Ghana or if you're not in Africa and you cannot find the ingredient, trust me, you can find it in the country where you are. So the main ingredient is chopped up spinach, okay? You can buy regular spinach and chop it up yourself, slice it, dice or whatever. I'm just, I'm just getting chopped. I have some turkey here. I have a turkey um, drum steak, big one. I'm going to um, smoke turkey. Smoked turkey. I like the the flavor of the smokiness. I even have turkey tail, what in Ghana we call trophy. I have smoked turkey tail here, which I'm also going to use. I have red, um, red and green bell pepper here. I have uh, eggplant here. I have one medium sized onion. I have two uh, habanero pepper. I have one green and one yellow. Um, Habanero pepper, I have some seasoning here, which is Badia seasoning. Um, I added a little bit of cumin, like a quarter teaspoon now, a, qu a quarter teaspoon and um, some turmeric because I like the health benefit of um, turmeric. So I try to incorporate it into my cooking whenever I can. And I'm using palm nut oil, but I'm out of the, the homemade palm oil. So I, I am using this store bought one, okay? So which you can trust, which is Nutiva, Nutiva red palm oil, okay? I picked this up at rolling oats you can get it on whole you can get it from whole foods amazon and i think i paid eight dollars 99 i'll probably say almost nine dollars for this uh red palm oil so let's just get started so with this thing on say say the thing you're gonna say all right so this ingredient i'm going to wash it and um i'm going to wash it and then I'm going to be adding this is uh, 0 0.4 ounces of ginger and I have a few um, garlic cloves here you can use two big ones uh. so I did cut the egg pad into different shapes but these ones are like cute so I peel the eggplant you can leave the skin on if you get the organic one wash it and then dice it up and I have my peppers here. This is the red bell pepper. It was a large red bell pepper, a large green bell pepper here. Oh, cut up in here. I have the medium sized onion that you saw me with. This is half of it right here. I have my ginger, my garlic, and then my um, habanero pepper here. And also with um, the stew I'm going to use, I like to use lots of onions. So I have some sliced up onions here and I have some diced up onion. The diced up onion I'm going to put with the meat. I'm gonna cook it with the meat, you see. So this is the turkey, okay? It was a lot of turkey, I didn't use it all. I used the two turkey tails and half of the drumstick. So this, uh, because it's like already baked, you know, I say baked, um, smoked, I'm going to cook this for like five minutes. I'll be adding the seasoning as well. I'm not going to do salt. And if you have any, my Africans, if you have any meat need seasoning, if you want to use your Maggie, your um, chicken seasoning, you can use that. All right, so I'm going to let that cook for five minutes. And the next thing I'm doing is... I'm blending this up and as always I'm using my Vitamix blender. Yeah, my Vitamix blender. It gets the job done. So to this, okay. Gonna add a quarter cup of water to this. And I'm gonna blend this. Just wanna see it start. So I, I have the turkey, so this is a turkey, this is how big I cut it into bite-sized pieces, okay? So I have my oil here, I'm using um, palm oil, you can use any oil oil for your preference. You can even choose not to use any oil, okay? So now I'm going to, I, I like to fry this a little bit in the oil, 
to sort of brown it before I use it in my stew. So I'm just gonna be cooking this in the oil just to brown it. So this is it right here. We're gonna let it brown and do not throw your stock away. What I'm going to do is after I brown these, I'm going to sit them back in the juicy, delicious broth. And then I'll make my stew. And when I'm ready to add my meat, I'll just pour everything back in. And also remember, when you're cooking the turkey, please do not add any salt. If you're adding some, you know, like a bedilla and some seasoning, do not add any salt to it. They have browned um, enough for me. You know, you don't want it too brown, too hard. Just to, you know, just to pump it for a little bit. So I'm going to return this into the sauce, or the broth, sorry. So once you take the meat out, just put in your sliced up onions. And then cook the onions so they soften up or so they are transparent. And then you go ahead and add the peppers that you blend. So our onion is ready, okay? You can tell it's like starting to brown on the edges, okay? So I'm going to add my peppers here. So I'm going to cook this uh, for it to reduce, okay? So more like simmer, so it reduces. And then we'll go ahead and add the rest of the stuff that we need to So this sauce has really, really, really simmered, you know? Decreased, let me say. So now the next thing I'm gonna do, and I'm just kidding. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my spinach, okay? On the bag, it said the spinach was like three pounds. I'm like, that's a lot of spinach. When you're cooking this, um, when you're trying to simmer your sauce, it splatters everywhere. So the best thing you the best thing you can do to reduce, you know, clean up time is you can cover it halfway so that you can allow the steam to escape, okay? That way you don't um it won't make much of a mess what when it splatters and it won't go everywhere in your stove and you know around the stove. So now what I'm doing is I'm going to mix in the spinach, the spinach, spinach, and I'm going to have this sit and cook for 10 minutes. I'm going to cook this for the first five minutes, okay? And then halfway, I'm going to add my meat and cook it for the remainder of the um, 10, okay? So five for just the sauce and the spinach mixed together and add plus five when you add your meat in here. This looks good. Okay. Give me, give so me. I haven't added anything to the stew yet, you know, seasoning, salt, nothing. Because I am, all my flavor is in the meat and the broth. Look at that. It's mad than this. So I'm just going to mix this in. I'll cover it and cook it for an extra five minutes. So this is so far um, what the stew looks like. Remember I said once you add the meat, you cook it for another five minutes. So yeah. I want to show you, these are the eggplants, okay? I want to show you what I'm doing. So if you're on a keto diet, if you're on a ketogenic diet, and you still want to enjoy your Ghana food, your African food, African-inspired food, so what you will do is you will slice your eggplant, you wash it, you slice it, and you will layer it, you will layer your... <laughs> You will layer it on top of the stew, okay? And then cover it and let it cook for the remainder of the five minutes. When you add the meat, let it cook. You can lower the heat, let it sit and cook. Or you can even put it on after the five minutes and then the heat will just cook it and you will be good to go. But I'm not doing this method. Like I said, you can just layer it, cover it in eggplant and you can have this stew by itself. You don't have to eat it with a yam. Like, you know, usually we eat this with yam or um, plantain. So I have the cubed one. So that's what I'm doing. I'm adding that. So you can do this method and still enjoy this stew. Now I'm going to cover this. Like I said, I have about two minutes. So I'm just going to let this 
go for the two minutes or until the eggplant I put it I put it on top of the stew softens up. Look, turkey spinach stew is ready, and you guys saw that I added the eggplant, which is nice and soft now. So this is the end product. Hi, baby. <laughs> so this is the end product. In Ghana, we typically eat this with yam. Like I said, boiled yam, plantain. You can eat, even eat it with rice, with banku on the side as your um, side dish. Um, and if you're weight loss and keto friendly, this is it right here because you have it with an eggplant. But if I'm doing this for just a ketogenic diet, I will just do the part where I have the eggplant sliced up like this and then i will lay it on top and this will be it's like much more media um and it will be much more filling all right so this is it right here hope you like this recipe nice easy simple and this will last you if you do what i did the quantity this will last you for a week or two so you can put half in the fridge the other half you're not going to eat in the deep freezer um yep yeah. all right so if you've not subscribed to my channel please subscribe all right i until i come your way again with another ketogenic friendly recipe that i'll do here, um, here and there uh still remaining god have a wonderful fantastic healthy week day month journey all right thank you guys